hello guys so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this basket design for my princess here it was a cultural day in school and she specifically told me what she wanted so i thought i should do a detailed tutorial on that so i'm going to be using a pattern paper to draft my pattern before i go ahead to cut it on the fabric so because this is a short booba um it is called oleku in yoruba so i'm going to start by marking a shoulder measurement a shoulder was around six inches so i went ahead to add like two inches to that and i just connected it down you don't want the shoulder to be too small because the shoulder also serve as the round measurement for the body device by four so now I'm just going in to mark the neckline so if you're making for a bigger person you can make the the um, the wideness maybe around 12 or 13 inches depending on how wide the person wants the booba to look like so now I'm just going in to you know mark the arm all length so for the arm all I came down like I think seven inches so on that point I make sure I marked seven inches up to the M as well so once I was done marking that I I just went ahead to use my marker to show you the size that we're going to be cutting off so that is the body and the other side is the sleeve length which i'm just showing you the measurements i used for my princess there so now i'm just going in to mark the lines i want my basket to fall on so this for precision purpose you would need to you know carefully mark out your lines so i think i went in 1.5 inch then when i was done doing that which was for the vertical lines i went in to mark my horizontal lines as well so depending on how much lines you want your basket to look like so that depends on how you're going to you know divide the space you have so this um this style is quite tricky and it's actually very time consuming so you need to carefully take your time to draft out your pattern so you can get a perfect um a perfect fit and a perfect shape for your basket because once your pattern is not correct or there's an error in your pattern it's going to affect your basket design and you know it's not something you can start losing or you know start adjusting and all that so you need to get a perfect you know a perfect shape so once i was done you know drafting out the lines for the basket i went in to you know cut out my patterns like that so here i'm going to be notching where my ham hole meets the sleeve so i'm just going to notch that part i'm going to be showing you why you need that later on in the video so now to the basket sleeve now i'm going to cut out the parts that i want so that is what i want which i already drafted out so i'm going to be cutting another one so remember the sleeve is into four so and since i already i just used one part of the pattern so i'm going to be cutting three more of this remember the body is divided into four so because i just used one part of the pattern i'm going to be cutting extra three more so just follow the way i am doing it so i'm using a tool called um a sorry <laughs> I forgot what the name of that is so i'm just using that tool to you know to trace it out so it's called a tracing wheel actually yes so you need to use it to you know trace out your uh, markings so it's going to show on the other side of that pattern paper so you just need to you know draw it out like that so once i draw it out so i went into you know cut another one till i have four you know four pattern pieces like that 
I know looking at um, the thumbnail or the intro video you might be thinking oh it's it's quite easy it's actually very very stressful I'm not trying to scare you but you know just <laughs> prepare your mind when you want to start a project like this so here I'm just you know I flipped it over to the other side so I can as well mark out I can as well trace out the you know markings on the other pattern paper so once I was done tracing it out, I'm going to, you know, be marking it out with my marker. Guys, if you have not subscribed at this point, please do subscribe to my channel. My name is Ope Olua. I'm the creative director at Easy Cutting. You're welcome if you're just joining us. We try to upload tutorial every week. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for 1000 plus subscribers. I'm so grateful to you guys. So, back to, to the, the tutorial. So, I'm just you know going into you know make my markings since I can see the lines that I use the tracing wheel to you know mark out. You cannot see it, but I can see it very clearly. So, once I was done doing this, so I'm going to be doing that to the fourth um pattern piece so here i was just showing you you're going to need to you know tape the pattern together like that so you need to tape it to give you one sleeve like that so as technical as this is sounding so it's just you have to do a lot of thinking to you know be able to you know achieve what you want so this is the same process you're going to be using to you know draft a full dress if you're making a full dress whatever you're making just make sure you draft a pattern paper first then you make your markings and that is that so i'm going to be showing you what you are going to do with that later on so here i'm just going in i went in to fold my fabric into four like that and i placed my pattern paper on it then i proceeded to you know add my seam allowance for the sides i added half inch then the m side i added 1.5 inch so i went ahead to you know notch all the points that i need to notch and i just proceeded to you know cut the neckline like that so that is what the uh, boba was looking like now i'm just going into you know cut my strip for you know what i'm going to place on the pattern paper so here i think i used 1.5 inch so i'm just going to go ahead to trim it to 1.5 inch and just trim all the other ones like that so once i have that i'm going to go in with my machine to just sew it so i'm going to be showing you how i did that so here it is so you just fold it into two like that on the wrong side then you start sewing so you need to cut as much as possible you need to cut as much as possible to you know to work on so that it can accommodate all the lines that you drew so here i am done you know i'm done sewing so i just went in to cut into quite smaller pieces so it's just this is optional it's just to make my turning process more easier for me that was why i was you know that was why i was cutting it into smaller pieces because it was quite long and I didn't want to, you know, start stressing myself to turn it to the right side. So here I was just turning it to the right side. So I proceeded to turn everything to the right side. And when I was done turning, I made sure I ironed everything flat. So there it is so i'm done ironing it here so i'm just going to be going into you know sew it on my pattern paper like that so you need to sew it on the pattern paper this helps for precision with precision and you know it helps you to you know have a clear view of 
what you're doing so i went in with the horizontal lines for sorry yes with the horizontal line first then i'm going to be going in with the vertical lines when i'm done with you know the horizontal lines so i'm just trimming that off and you know i'm just going to be going in with the vertical lines like that So here is the end part of the sleeve so I'm just going to sew it like that so here I'm going to be showing you for the other sleeve how you're going to how another way you can you know finish up the M for that sleeve part like that so once I was done with that I went in to you know remove my pattern paper from the fabric like that so you try to separate it from the fabric you just take your time step by step one after the other and remove so if you will notice in this video i did not sew on the second part of you know the fabric so the reason is to allow my pattern paper to allow me be able to remove my pattern paper easily so when i was done removing so i went ahead to you know hold it down like that so that is i'm just sewing the other parts of it like that so if i went in and sew it like this i may not be able to remove the pattern paper easily so it's actually a thing of choice so that was how i did mine for this tutorial so when i was done so here is how you're going to fix your boba sleeve so you're going to join the sleeve first so you need to join the sleeve allowance the joining allowance for the sleeve by the side so remember there was no allowance so i'm just going to be using another stripe to you know to just um hold that part together so i'm going to show you how to do that so i turned it to the right side like that if you want you can just join it with your machine but i used um the ankara strip this is actually better so you just use it and you just fold it like that with the raw edges inside and you just you know use your machine to just hold it down like that so when i get to the finish line i'm going to you know turn it inside so see how i turned it inside so the raw edges is not showing outside so that is it for the first sleeve i'm going to be joining this and i'll show you how you're going to finish up the end for the other sleeve so to join the booba sleeve you need to um there's actually a technique for joining the booba sleeve so you need to start from the midpoint like that you're not going to be joining for the midpoint so you put your sleeve all the way to the armhole the way i am doing so when you get to the armhole part you start sewing so you sew from one armhole part to the other armhole so remember the allowance whatever allowance you had there to your pattern that's the same thing you're going to you know be sewing so once you get to the other armhole part you stop then you're going to go in to now join the down parts like that with the sleeve inside like that you just carefully start from the sleeve joining and you just sew it like that leaving like some inches so you can just turn that part for ease so that is that for the first sleeve so i'm going to be showing you how to do the other sleeve and you know that's it so guys um um i want to say that um a lot of you have been asking for you know the sewing parts of a particular video that i posted i see all your comments and i'm going to try to you know upload the sewing parts of the video very very soon so just bear with me and just keep following the ch channel thank you so much so here is how i finished the other parts of the sleeve so here is the end part so i didn't sew on 
I didn't sew directly on the end part so I made sure I sew on the other side so the reason I did this was because I wanted to be able to you know um, weave that part so I, I didn't want all my sewing to be outside so that's what I was saying so can you see once I was done weaving that part so I just went in to you know top stitch it with my machine like that So guys, as I was saying, this project is actually very, very stressful. I am not going to lie. So if you, before you take um, on the job, you can just try to do a simple one like this before you take on like a full jacket or a full blouse and all that. So even this, it took me a long time to, you know, to achieve it. So yeah i'm just going to show you um how to you know fix the sleeve so here's the other part of the sleeve so just going into it again just so we are clear on the fixing so here i'm just going to be doing that So backstory guys, my niece, so it was, she had a culture day in school and she was like, oh, Auntie Okbe, this is what I want. She actually told her mom first and her mom did not understand her. So when she came, she was describing the style, you know, it's going to have holes in the sleeve, the papa is going to be short and all that. So when she was saying this, I said, yeah, 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 I understand. I already had a picture of what she wanted in my mind. So i just had to do it for her i did not have a choice so <laughs> you know early in the morning of our culture day she was calling me as early as 6 30 a.m to come help her tie her gilly i didn't have a choice i had to do it so here is what the booba was looking like i just went in to you know finish the hem and once I was done with that, I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, turn the neckline. So here's the neckline. So I just used a strip, like, you just cut your anchor, like, maybe like one inches. You fold it into two, and you just start sewing like that on the, on the right side, right to right side. So once you're done sewing, you're going to be turning it inside. So you can use your iron to turn that inside. And we're going to be aiming it. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's just go into the wrapper. So here is the wrapper. For the wrapper measurement, I used um 1.5, one and a half inches. Sorry, one and a half yard for the wrapper. So I went ahead to cut from the length because, you know, she wanted a short wrapper. And I also went in to, you know, hard rope to the sides for, so she can, so the wrapper won't be, you know, coming off. So here is the neckline. So that's how I went in to, you know, end the neckline. So you can as well, you know, run your machine on it. But um, the downside is that the, the seam is going to be showing outside. So if you don't mind or you have like, a cooler thread maybe like a black thread or something you can do that but this is a proper way to you know um, finish up the boba neckline so here I was done and this is what it was looking like when I was done and there is the boba and of course my princess she stayed it thank you guys bye bye see you next